Hi, Captain Dan here coming to you from the headquarters of Sail Channel Islands. Now, today we're going to explore Coach's Creatives. It's one of the premier spots on the island. Uh, almost everyone loves it. It's got a great beach. It's well protected. But because of that great beach, it attracts a lot of folks in the summertime. So we generally avoid it except for spring and fall and in the winter. We're going to take a look at uh, how you find the place, uh, the dust spots to anchor, and uh, take a look uh, at the hazards. There's a small reef in there and there is a drying area that you need to avoid. Uh, but one of the hazards that uh, we can't foretell is those crowds. And uh, particularly on the first day of lobster season and any bright hot day uh, in the late summer, you're liable to find a huge crowd in there. I've seen as many as uh, 40 boats in there at one time. Uh, we like to do go when there are only one or two. Uh, we'll show you both situations. Well, come on along to coaches and uh, have a look. Now, taking a look at the chart here, you can see that uh, Bowen Point uh, lies to the west. If you're coming from the west, it's the first thing you're going to see. At a distance, uh, you'll be able to spot the right, white rock right at the foot of it. Now, we're quite close to the island, and uh, Coaches is hidden by the point. In a second or two, we'll round the point, and you'll see a spectacular sight. Uh, this is Hill 432. It separates Coaches and Alberts. You can see this for 8 or 10 miles on a clear day coming from the south. Of course, if you're close to the shore, coming from the west, uh, you won't pick it up for a while. If you're coming from the east, Bowen Point is frequently uh, silhouetted, which makes Bowen Point easy to see, but it's impossible to see Hill 432 until you get in quite a bit closer. You'll spot it, though, within a half a mile and around the point and uh, be headed right into Coach's Prietus. There's a drying area on the right side that I talked about in the introduction. Now let's take a, another look at the chart here uh, to take a look at our specific anchoring spot. You see over here on the on the left, there's a, a reef, a small reef. Uh, it doesn't look like much in there, but it is substantial. On the right is the drying area, which is what we're looking at. We looked at in the last picture. Now here we are, writing to anchor. You're looking straight uh, into the anchorage, and I'll slew around here a little bit here in a second, and we'll see the rest. That gives you an idea of uh, how far out we are. Now we've got a 46-foot boat, uh, and we don't go right up to the shore. Other people do. You can see that we're fairly close to the rocks nevertheless. Normally we're in here on a bow and a stern hook, uh, two things to prevent our swing, uh, just because it's uncomfortable near the rocks, and two, it, it can be quite crowded. On the other side, on the west side of the anchorage, is, is the reef. And in this particular instance, we're uh, just setting the hook and we're behind it. We'll end up uh, on the seaward side. I'm taking a look from the beach on this uh, very lovely winter day, you get a better picture of uh, where we like to end up. Now, some boats, smaller boats, will anchor inside the reef. In fact, that's the traditional place. Uh, we've tried to get back in there, but we're just a little too uh, big to make that comfortable. And uh, this guy, I don't know if you can tell, is getting kind of a rough ride being pitched around because the swell uh, still breaks over that reef. And here's another example. Uh, it's an easy paddle ashore from where he is. That is probably the great advantage to being in there and the protection from that west swell. Here's a quick comparison between a lovely summer day where we had, oh, you can see seven or eight boats in there. Uh, there were more earlier uh, uh, in the morning. And what we found uh, on, a, on a February day in there. And uh, winter sailing out there is, is fantastic. You've got to be careful of the weather uh, because this, there are winter storms. But the weather between the storms is uh, fantastic. Here's a picture of us. Uh, happily moored out there, and you can't tell it, but we're actually uh, swimming out there right now. now. This is one of the easiest places to get a shore on the island. Remember, you need a, a Nature Conservative Sea Permit. Uh, that's the end of the reef that we're looking at in the far left-hand corner of the picture, uh, and you can see that there's a, a very benign little slapping. The beach gradient is, is pretty steep, so you uh, can drive your boat up on the beach uh, without too much worry, concern about uh, kicking your motor up in time. Well, it's a great place to hike, a uh, great place uh, particularly when you're all alone. 
Well, if you're watching this ashore and you have any questions, uh, please take a look at our website, sailchannelislands.com, or call us, 805-750-7828. See you at Coaches, probably in the winter.